Hi, I'm T from TDSFair and welcome to this tutorial where we're going to model an egg chair. Now, uh, I'm not absolutely sure if it's called the egg chair, but uh, it's a kind of chair which looks like an egg or a sphere and uh, looks really uncomfortable, but uh, I decided to do that because I saw some images of that and I really like that and I don't know, it's, it's a kind of uh, pretty nice modern furniture. So uh, we are going to uh, model this now. Uh, I had a small pause uh, between recording the tutorials. It was my wedding, so uh, I'm back after a longer time. But I hope I didn't forget the things uh, which I knew before. Uh, I hope anyway that you will like the tutorial. So uh, first of all, as before, uh, we will model according to reference picture. Now we will not use the reference picture absolutely like a guide but we will just keep it in our scene uh, to have a look uh, on the chair and to create the same shape uh, as is uh, on the picture so uh, let's place here some plane now the plane will be the holder for for reference pictures now press M to the editor click here bitmap and here is our picture now uh, Keep in mind the resolution here because we need to uh, place this ratio also here. Uh, if not, there will be some mishmash of the texture. So it's like it's like this. It's even quite quite nice, quite nice size. So uh, I will make it like that. Track here the texture. Click this. Okay, I think it should be like that. It's just reversed. Now let's press F3 here and F4. Let's say to see also the edges. We don't need a realistic mode. Shade that is uh, enough for us. And we can also place the texture just by right clicking uh, on the sliders here uh, to 0, 0, 0. So uh, we can model from here. Now <coughs> looking on this, uh, it's obvious that here is the shape uh, of a sphere. So our initial object should be also a sphere. Now, uh, I think there is not any other option here. Uh, we can, okay, let's drag it up. Uh, we can also try uh, to choose another object, but I don't think there will be another one. So let's go with a sphere. Now, we can also try to create a box. As you remember, when we was making the screwdrivers or, oops, what is uh, the NFF ball was using a box as an initial object, even even though it was looking like a sphere. Now, that time we will be uh, we were applying true basement on that. You can go three times here, to convert back to poly, F4 to see the edges, and we got uh, a sphere with another distribution of polygons like here. Now, as you can see, here is the point, the joint point. Uh, of the sphere, here it is not so. For some objects, this is uh, really a, some kind of advantage to start from uh, this and not this because this can cause some kind of problem. But if you look, uh, the difference here and there, uh, actually, I'm not sure if this would make any difference uh, because uh, what we need to do is uh, to rotate our initial object. So. What I will do, I will rotate it out, uh, like this. Okay, I think uh, some kind of this angle. Now, if we do the same here, we can affect the power to the center. So we've got, we've got a similar shape as we got here. <coughs> but again, the distribution. Uh, of the polys is a bit different than uh, we had before. Uh, actually, uh, I like the distribution which is here more. It's because here are the polys or the edges quite straight, but here they are going into one point. So we can create this kind of effect, uh, like you see here, uh, which is very easy, but with this not much. So uh, if we are thinking at our initial object, I will choose this one instead of this one. So 
uh, this is just for the beginning like to see the difference that uh, ability to choose the initial object if we want to model from a primitive is very important so I'll just delete that okay here we go ecosphere now about the size now probably this is too less besides centimeters I don't know, probably half a meter you can also enlarge this one on both axes and here we go back so uh, uh, the rotation started uh, our initial shape of the chair so uh, we will need now to delete some stuff here just to make the opening so let's convert this to poly we'll keep the segments to 32 it should be quite enough and now uh, if we are okay with how this sphere is rotated we can simple select and delete the half of the sphere now if you think <coughs> it should be a bit more okay everything is more on it matter just go one step back because uh, I think it should be something like this because if you look on the shape one more time uh, it's not a half of sphere uh, but it's a bit more so okay let's go with the shape like that and I think the angle here is not so bad so we'll start with this well, it's a nice initial shape it's an empty sphere it all so quite nice okay let's rename this like a chair now uh, we need to make walls to the sphere or better to make uh, sides to that because here we go with a single poly or with a shape make from a single poly so we need to close that for that we'll just use the shell modifier and adjust uh, the thickness of the wall. Now let's look here. One is quite enough, but probably one and a half would be better. So here we are. One more time with a shape. Okay. Now I will reset the X from here just to get the cage properly aligned around our object and now <coughs> I will divide the object into two objects now it's obviously that here uh, we have the body of the chair with the stand and something which is uh, inside so uh, what I will do I will select this vertex here in the middle from inside control poly I will select all these here and grow the selection until the edge uh, of the chair itself. Now I will hit uh, and hold down shift, move it a bit and move it back. Like this I will get uh, another object which has the same copy, the same shape and the same position as the inside of the body itself. Quite right, easy. Egg chair on inside. Let's go like that. Picture inside. Uh, okay, we are here uh, inside now. Select just for sure. Control A. Select all the polys here because here are the polys just on one side, like it was before with the chair. Uh, uh, we don't need here that it will be double sided. Like for what? Uh, because nobody will see the inside of the chair and so on. We'll also delete the polys from the body later. We'll just save like this the polys now. Uh, if you look uh, on our scene uh, with this object now this is one object okay we don't need to delete the police but uh, if you will have a large scene with a lot of objects and you are not running some high-end computer for this every thousand polys are good to save and we will apply on this a smooth modifier so uh, it's good uh, to optimize the object and again nobody will see the inside or the other side from the chair so we can delete that but uh, let's select the polys here we'll hit extrude change this to local normal and adjust 
the size of this. Okay, I think for something like this. Let's go with seven. One more check. Hmm. Maybe six. Hmm. Okay, no numbers. Quite strange. Okay. Okay, so uh, we go for, uh, with extrude with six. Uh, it should be plenty enough for that. Uh, remember that we will be doing some uh, smoothing on the shape, so uh, some of the uh, thickness will go away uh, in the moment we will use uh, the true smooth there. Okay, now uh, we'll hit Alt X here just to see our inside better. Let's go select the border. Now, maybe for local view, better, we'll hold down shift and drag everything back. Okay, maybe gimbal. Maybe hold the gimbal. The local should be working, but it's not. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go to the left view. No, front view. Yes. Just adjust it in this view a bit. Like that. We'll just put it inside. The left and right view. <coughs> Uh, this is quite nice. So, perspective. Let's go to view. And like this, we did uh, a bit from the inside, or tracked a bit uh, the edges uh, from the inside of the actor because we want to transfer a bit the edges later. Now, without this, there will be no. Uh, no way how to place uh, the transferring or the extruding of the edges inside that will be looking exactly like here. Okay, uh, now, now here uh, we'll select this poly and just delete that. You will see why. And now we'll be doing this, this stuff here. Okay, here we go with one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Okay. Okay, we have how many? One, two, three, five, three between R. Okay. This is not not the best distribution I, I did because uh, because it's not in the same matter hmm. uh, okay uh, we can do also less because I, I don't know that uh, I was counting with this in the moment uh, I was creating this file with the segments but it should be forking of course Now we go just with three, it's the last, so let's go with more. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three edges between the two one. Now the distribution should be the same. Yep. And we can also compare these ones. But this, uh, this is just only if you want. How many of, uh, of this uh, to have in the, in the mobile iron? Maybe hey, this is too much, maybe it's too nice. Anyway, we'll see. So uh, let's see the extrude here. 
go a bit like this and inside. Now let's go by uh, by this value. It should be should be enough. So yeah, it's looking quite nice. Okay, now we need to select the other edges of the new extruded form we did. Loop them one more time and apply a small chunk them. Because if not, uh, the tribesman will bring this. Oops. Too much. Inside. Okay. Now, still we have a hole here. Now we need to cap this hole somehow. Uh, we cannot use cap here, obviously, because we have here some kind of 3D. 3D hole, so it's not absolutely round. Here are the, the jumps and the new shape we created. And if we hit just cap, we will get something like this. Uh, it's a bit. It's a bit. And oh, okay, it will not work. Anyway, uh, okay, let's go to the scale tool, but uh, we'll go here and hold down shift and just. Make something. Oh, oops. Uh, no, I'll scale. We'll move it. We'll move it a bit back. The shape. Now here, let's try it local. Mm -hmm. Because there's some kind of changing here. Anyway, so let's go. Let's go like that. Can, we can work into view. And uh, when we have something like this, we will use the scale tool and make it flat. Make it flat. A bit rotate. And if it's scale. Okay, now well, we cap that. Let's try triple smooth here. How it will be looking? We'll go two. Okay, not so bad. We we'll inset that a bit. Okay. It's quite nice. So something like this. So we'll get this kind of stuff, <coughs> like some image, maybe a bit more than it's there. It looks like an orange. Uh, and also this uh, descending here of the shape here. Anyway, this will be covered by a pillow, but it's good to have there some kind of shape which is not looking distorted. Mm, okay, now uh, chamfer here, very important. I don't know. Maybe like that. Uh, okay. Maybe this was a bit too much. So one more time. And let's put it a small value. Good, good half tree which we had before. Yeah, it's better. Okay, now I will hide the selection of this just for a moment. Again, I will go here. As I said before, I will delete some of the inside bodies because we really don't need them. Now we loop this and apply the same chamfer. Which we had before, so something like this. I will also apply tuber smooth here. 
a little and just create this kind of shape. Okay, uh, we have two things more to do. We have to do the stand. Well, the best would be to use this one here, from which uh, we could extrude the shape itself. But because we was rotating the sphere, and because we don't want to use uh, any smooth modifier, on, uh, smooth modifier on here or on that smooth modifier, pull and modifier on here. Uh, you will just rotate the chair back and just use a plane or something to cut off uh, the hole. Uh, we lose the bottom. Now, looking at that, should be going, I think, somewhere from here this time. So, we'll go and zoom here. We'll select these or edges, connect them, create this diamond shape, we'll cut now from here, somewhere in the middle, but it doesn't matter much. So we'll create there a bit more points, we'll select the points, We'll go to Edge Mode, Scale Tool, Scale it up, trying to create a bit of a spheric shape. Now I will delete this, again cap that, select the poly, let's go to Polygons, Geo Poly, and you can or you don't have to save it. So, uh, I will use this border one more time on the edges. I will drag it down, drag it down, but before I will go back to none. Drag, drag this down. Uh, make it straight. A bit up. Probably scale this a bit down. Drag this a bit more. So I will create this kind of stuff. Oh, pretty simple. And we don't have to use the boolean to start from the shape and to be shaped and blah blah blah. So uh, very simple. We can use the polys. Uh, if we have a nice uh, polygonal shape, the primitive is the best because if we do the polygonal shape by ourselves, we all we never do the polys nice, you know, we make them how we can. But here, when we start from primitive, to have a na nice uh, poly polygon distribution there, and we can very easily to create this kind of shape, uh, I mean the round shapes, if we are going to use uh, the smooth modifier at the end. Uh, okay, now we are still here. Uh, by our shape, uh, from this moment, probably we can cap that. We can make the cap there, it would be easier to model. Just select the bottom poly and let's try to do the stand. So let's say after a small, like House here is going straight down, creating the large spherical object. Okay, maybe a bit. A bit more. A bit down. And cap the bottom. So I go to this. 
something like that. No. Uh, still select this control edge to select the items here. Control. This edge look that chamfer, small chamfer. Smaller than we had before. Should be small. And I hope the size is uh, enough. <coughs> okay, uh, so we have here the stand. Well, maybe it should be larger, but it's quite nice like this. And the last thing which we are missing are the pillows. Well, pillows. To make a pillow, I realize that it's not so easy how it looks. But because I really like you guys, I will try to make a pillow the best I can from a reference picture. Now, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Usually, if you do a pillow, uh, you just may, uh, make a box and make uh, some relax there and stuff like that. But uh, it's not looking bad, but it's not the pillow you can see in the real world. Uh, you know, the pillows are looking a bit different. So let's try to use this reference picture and to create uh, some kind of pillow which we have here. Okay, so uh, the dimension of this is uh, R. So we'll use just some dimensions like this. Anyway, we can scale that at any time. So uh, we'll make it so big now. Uh, let's scale it down. And we'll then scale uh, it again down. So we'll start from the box. So it's the best starting object for a pillow. The height of the box is not important. Like this. Mm. Okay, let's go with some height uh, like this. Important part is to make it looking like a pillow. Okay, pillow. So uh, we'll start with some very easy stuff. We'll bring these birds into this kind of position, like this. Now, if you look on the uh, in the shape, uh, we need some edges, more edges. I four to see the edges. Better idea. Now, we'll bring there more edges, and again, make the distribution of the words and copy the shape itself. Now I never have done a pillow like this. Looking forward how this will be looking. So uh, again, we'll make a bit more birds also here. And also here. And if you look a bit closer, we still need more uh, edges. Here, uh, we don't need three probably. Maybe, maybe two. Yeah, let's go with two, and we will bring. We will make the connects already there and there. Now here we can then a bit here. From the edge, oops. And here we can read it. Okay. One more time, we'll assign the best we can. The edges. And we'll apply some some stuff on the edges, like that and that. So so far, a bit different different approach that. Uh, I choose, I think the last time, I think by the sofa. 
but so far uh, I was really using just a box with some relax modifier and stuff like this but <coughs> as I said it's not looking quite as pillow it, it, it's looking like a pillow but this should give us a more and more nicer shape uh, of that okay it looks uh, very very flat uh, as you can see it's not a problem for us so far but if we are here in this view we will uh, make here a bit more of the edges now front view no left view Yeah, we can go with the left view, and here uh, connect. Uh, still having these edges, we need to um, scale them a bit. But on the front view, I decided to do the best. So I will go the shape like this, maybe. Now, let's go from the top view. We will do this, and again from the front view, we will find one step like that. Okay, we are now <coughs> let's define in two or three axes, and the last is this one. All the X, I think. Go back here. And try to make an arm shape uh, or pillow shape, let's say. Also from this view. Okay. Okay, should be fine like that. And we will move it up scale it just step by step. And every time deselect the part. Okay, we can bring this connects here. That make something like this. And of course, we need to do something very similar also for this axis. Oh, almost forgot. And just after we'll start Oops. to play a bit more the shape itself using the modifiers which we have inside 3 ds Max. Loop that. Well, we don't want much to distort the shape. Just a uh, to have it a bit nicer. Okay, I think we can delete that. Oops, what we have here. Mm, okay, doesn't matter much. Doesn't matter much. Well, it matters quite a lot. Mm. Okay, well, let's go back all the steps. Forward. Uh, we'll try to face that. How I did that? <laughs> Quite strange. Uh, okay. Uh, we quick, quickly. Delete this. This quite strange shape. Um, which we have here. Uh, look at that. 
I don't remember if we selected something which could cause that. But uh, obviously, yes. Um, the good is that the shape is not very difficult. That, oops. If we are not able to let's say save that or delete that. But uh, we just take some time. Not much, just small, small portion of our time. To delete the edges and straight after. Also, the words. Okay, well, very, very fast done. And we'll do again. Some changes to the shape. Um, I hope at the end it will be looking like a pillow. Okay, very fast. Uh, okay. Now uh, what we were doing? Okay, I see. I'll probably delete this one or not. Now we'll see. So uh, let's select this side with this. So far like this. And we'll use the front view, I think, for this. But I think this is fine actually. Okay, I will not change that anymore. A little bit lighter, like this. So we have here a basic shape of something which should be uh, a pillow. Now let's apply this. I think two should be enough, plenty enough. Now, because uh, maybe two was more. Hmm. Reason we can keep here the easy one display, but um, it's quite easier to uh, to work with that. But if we use the, okay, and some, some sometimes it's happening. No, it should mean uh, okay. So we have your basic shape now. It's uh, uh, the start is a lot different than than we had. Uh, before when we were just using a box. Now here we can start to make a uh, nice adjustment. Now we'll go to FFD box and just here we need one more. Okay, let's go with five five five. Yep. <coughs> and now we can start to play. Let's go to top view and we'll squeeze this a bit. Like this and a bit a bit also that one. Okay. Now let's select this one and do something like that. Now let's go to front view. We'll squeeze a bit the sides and also the center of the pillow. Now I will move these corners a bit. Okay, we don't have to move all in the same direction. I mean. Should be some kind of distortion of the shape itself. Now, I will hide unselected. Much better for moving of the shape. Mm. 
Oh, glass would be better. I think we can work also with this. Okay. Okay, we try we convert this to poly again and apply here. Just the mm, this points in this moment will be better for me. But of course. Uh, can do it also to yourself. <coughs> now, now we are trying to make the uh, to the shape the pillow shape. Hope uh, at the end, friendship will be applied. We'll see uh, in a few moments. <coughs> okay. Again, I will convert this to, to poly. Now, before I do anything else, uh, I need to grab this metal. Hit extrude. And Make here this kind of line. We'll apply a small chunk here. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's convert this to poly two. Not even full. Convert this to poly, and we can go back. Oh, we can try something. Uh. Uh, I don't want to use here, I think any relax modifier because uh, we will not do much like this. You see, uh, you, you can see that I think even uh, maybe the noise will do their sound. Distortion, you see, which I actually not so bad. Hit closely. Okay, let's go with that. You know, quite nice. Uh, but uh, I wanted to use the paint deformation to, you know. Quite nice. Ah, let's try that. I was never, never trying this. So, uh, so we'll go with a small brush. Oops. Okay, this is looking bad. Push the value. Smaller. Just like that. Oops, I bet. And let's go with this. Uh, a 
okay it's uh, uh, it's not uh, it's not that bad let's be honest but uh, I don't want to tell that it's kind of kind of bad so of course it's not <laughs> Any, anything like great. Okay, uh, I will skip that. Uh, so. Just really the noise uh, at some at some point. Okay, unhide all. So let's say we have a pillow uh, ready for distribution to our shape. I think you can fork on that and all that. Uh, I don't want. Uh, I know myself. I will start to do there some kind of stop and restarting the thing very, very strange. Okay. Ooh, what I'm trying now to achieve? Let's put perspective. Okay, I see. Let's go here. Mm, 90. And 90. We need to place this in solid. I think actually that uh, we can just keep this. Oops. So right now, obviously, it's too too large. Of course. Like this is looking a bit too small. But I think uh, like this is looking quite okay. So here uh, we will see again the FFD. Oh. It's five to five to five. Better right now. Uh, more control okay no. we'll go with four points and uh, we need basically to place it there so some of the shape will need to deform this for example let's go to control points if we select this without this we'll need to Pull this a bit up. We have this this corner here. Now, of course, the same we need to do with this side. So we can just swap both of them. Just one. I don't know. Can. Maybe I will turn this a bit off. Okay. So we need to place it there. Like it's, we don't want it to be interacting with. Uh, to the uh, inside. So let's see the view. Uh, it's already a bit, but we don't want that to be interact. Uh, absolutely, it can. No matter that. Perspective, not autograph. Ok, 
Okay, so uh, I'm trying to make something like that. I hope it's not too big, but we need to copy this shape. And we need also oops. to place it up. Mm -hmm. Something like this. Uh, not absolutely, of course. Uh, But something like this exactly. So can do something like this there. And now again, uh, it would probably nice to fix some of the control points there. It will not be easy already. Still, some of them can, of course. Interact with our shape. Uh, it may not, not be seeing there, so it doesn't matter much if we look uh, on that in this way. Okay, this will be interacting with the bottom. I know this, this will be quite hard, hard stuff to do. Very hard. And I do. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. It should be. Should be there. Okay. Hmm. Delete this. Sorry for that. We'll keep the shape somewhere like here. Okay. Hmm. We need to readjust a bit this shape at the beginning. Okay, looks better. Now, um, the pillow itself isn't so bad uh, as I told it would be at the end, but I think uh, next time I will do there some kind of changes. Could it make, uh, can make it better, of course, always, but okay, I tried. I don't select it. It wasn't the worst uh, worst output for that. But uh, as I said, it could be better. It can be better, of course, always. Okay, next time. I'm quite quite happy with uh, I tried that. Okay, control points, uh, we'll move some stuff back. Not all, of course. But uh, more distortion we do to the shape, I'm sure the model will stick really working in the end. Also, I think scale this a bit down. And maybe not that, just a bit.
Okay, uh, final touch. The touches of uh, our pillow. Uh, and I think we are quite done. Okay, I hope nobody will ask me. So the pillow. Okay. Wasn't so bad, but could be better, huh? I think here we could stay for a long, long time. Adjusting these points. Oh, we could try to find some pill generator. I'm pretty sure somebody did that already. By the way, uh, I was thinking about to start some kind of max, uh, max script uh, category, uh, category here you know, to make some programming. Oh, it would be like good to have something like that. So, if you'd like to have it, just tell me. I'll try. I'll try to do myself the best and try to start that. It would be easy because I'm not much familiar with Max script as with other languages. Anyway, okay. Let's say we are done. Make any any more changes to the pillow? <coughs> we'll place the color. Okay, it's not looking so bad. At the end, we'll delete this. Now we have here one egg chair. We'll make from one egg chair two egg chairs. Uh, and I just want to to see how it would be looking like. Together. Oops. Just this exit. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, I'll. Do the textures, maybe some textures, I don't know like that, but the materials in the next part I would like to keep rendering uh, separate from the modeling and so on. Anyway, I hope you like that. Also the pillow modeling, which wasn't so bad, but could be better. Does it really? So anyway, I hope you like so far, uh, and we, I will see you in the next part, where we're going to do uh, the materials render, and probably on one of the egg chair, also a texture. So. Thanks for watching so far, I will see you, bye bye.